Hey guys, how's it going? This is our first flux update of Tabby Star since Bruce Gary shut down his observatory for the upcoming monsoon season. The Arizona sky cleared temporarily and there was no threat of damaging lightning, so Bruce was able to get three good consecutive nights of measurements. We did not post during those three days because Tabby Star seemed to be stuck at approximately 99.5% of full flux and we expected a full recovery to 100% by then. We were wondering if we had a permanent step down in the nominal flux of Tabby Star or maybe a mistake was made. So just to make sure, Bruce checked his processing procedures and took additional measurements and we are confident the flux graph you will see is accurate and correct. So uh, let's get to it. So this is the normalized flux graph for Tabby Star and today's measurement is circled in red. Notice that we really never recovered from the last dip. We may have missed a quick jump up to 100%, but as you can see, we are still down approximately 0.4% below nominal flux. We may even be starting another dip or a continuation of the current dip, uh, depending on how you look at it. If this does not recover, this is not the first time that this was observed with Tabby Star. For example, um, this is an old Kepler graph of Tabby Star. And the red line shows you the slope of the long-term dimming of Tabby Star. And then uh, all of a sudden, it jumped up a little for some reason, and then went into a uh, dimming event for about 250 days, and then stopped, and for some reason resumed the same slow slope of the long-term dimming event. It fell a little more than 2%, but it never recovered. It never went back up again. Uh, this star is really hard to explain, so we will just keep watching to see if the um, current uh, dip ever recovers from the latest dimming event. Uh, we'll see you in our next video, guys. Take care.